Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today I thought we would do this cute little rat. His name is Ulysses, and we actually own him, and you get to meet him at the end. All right, let's get started. So Ulysses is a lovable little rat. We will use a pencil and an eraser with the marker as well. So we're going to start with his nose. And it's going to be a bit of a heart. So I'm going to make a little heart right here. But on this side, I'm going to come around and I'm going to give him a little nostril right there, a little dip in the heart. And then I'm going to give the one side of his nose here and the other side here up to a smile. I'm going to give him his teeth, two little front teeth, like so. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is from the teeth here, I'm going to come around and I'm going to meet up with my mouth. And I'm going to do another line that is his bottom lip. And it stops right here. I'm going to make a tongue, one line here, another one here, and I'm going to fill this part in. All right. The next step, he's a happy little fellow. We're going to make the top of his nose. So we're going to start on the top of his nose here. And we're going to come around. And this is going to set you up to be able to draw your eyes. So just above this nostril, so come up there, I'm going to draw the first eye. The second eye can be over here somewhere. And he's going to be looking at us, so we're going to put him this direction. And I'm going to give him a second one. And then his sparkle in his eye makes him come alive. Two little eyebrows. One here and one here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil because I want to make the shape of his head and I want to have a little tuft here. So out of the eye I'm going to make the edge of his head like this. I'm going to come around and I'm going to meet up about halfway through his mouth right there. And now what I can do is right here I can put his ear so it's coming out close to the where the eye is, kind of a big rounded ear. You can make it bigger if you want. And there's the inside. The other ear comes over here. And the inside. I want to put a little tuft on top, so I'm going to make this first. I'm going to come around, I'm going to give him a little bit of a, a hairdo like that. And now I can finish up the head, the line. I also want to make them a little bit furry. So instead of just doing a straight line, I'm going to do a few little spikes coming out like that. All right. And there we have his head. We're going to put a few whiskers in. He's got nice little whiskers that's, that uh, tickle me all the time. All right. Next thing we're going to do is use our pencil again. We're going to draw his body. So coming out of the neck or the mouth area here, I'm going to give him a nice fat belly. Ulysses loves his chocolate, so therefore he's going to, he's quite chunky. All right, there's his fat little belly. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to make his hands. So you want to kind of pretend there's a line there. Let me just draw that so you can see what we're doing here. That is going to be erased. So this is where his hands are going to meet. I'm going to make four little fingers. One, two, three, and four. And same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and four. Now we can come down around here on both sides and then you can also put a line here and here and he's got his little hands he's going to be holding a piece of cheese 
we're going to do his arm. Again, I'm going to go with pencil because I want to do some hair on his arm. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go beyond my body. And I'm going to come around, oh, I'm going to make that a little more rounder. Underneath, there's this elbow right here. And same thing over here, go a little bit beyond the body. Make his elbow. Okay, so now we can do our fur. So I'm going to come around here, I'm going to give him a few little tufts of fur. Like that, I'll do that both sides so you can see. And then I can come up and do the rest here. Now Ulysses has little white paws, so I'm just gonna make a line across here where it changes to white, and we're going to add a part of the arm there. And then from here, we're just gonna do where the other part of the, the back arm is. All right, let's make our cheese that he's holding. We're going to make a rectangle. So here's our, my line here. I'm making a rectangle. He's holding it in his hand. Like that. But he's taking a bite out of it. So I'm going to go across here and I'm going to take a bite out of the cheese. Now we want to make this three dimensional. So I'm going to put a line here, a line here. This one matches. So they're all the same direction, see that? Okay, then I'm going to draw as if I'm coming up to match that one. Draw across here and across here. And then this one is the other chunk that he's taken out. And maybe it's Swiss cheese. Maybe I can draw a few little dots on it like it's Swiss cheese or something. All right, let's get ready for our legs. So my leg is going to come, there's part of the body here, I'm going to come up here, leave a bit of space, and I'm going to give him a nice little leg like that. Notice I'm under my body a bit, like that. And this one's going to be a little different, so we'll do that one later. Okay, so I want to do the back of the leg. He's coming in here, he's just below his body there. All right. We'll come back to this. Let's do this one. This one is facing this direction. So I'm going to make an oval. And I notice I haven't really finished it off though, because down here, I'm going to put his toes. One, put this one out at the side a little bit. Two and three. And he needs his little claws. He's got sharp little claws. And then this side, I'm going to come around. He's got this little back toe that he has. And I'm going to do one, two, and three to meet up with there. And again, he's got little white feet. So I'm going to do a line like that. You don't really see that line over here. And now we can actually finish off his body. I'm just going to straighten that a little bit. And then he's got a little belly that's kind of furry. I'm just going to give a little bit of, of hairiness. And I can also finish this line and I can finish this line of his body. Now we need the tail. And actually, I'm um, just looking here, you can do part of his body, of his tummy up here as well if you want to. So that's kind of that whole thing there. All right, his tail, nice long tail. And rats actually almost have like a scale on them, but I'm just gonna do the little rings on it. If you really take a look at a rat's tail, it does not look like this. It's actually quite fascinating, okay? And I'm going to do some erasing. Here we have our drawing of Ulysses. Let's take a look at our colored drawing. And here we have our colored picture. So I've actually used gray marker. He's darker than this. He's almost a brownish color. Got some cheese. I used a little bit of black just to show a little bit of shadow. You can see under his chin right here. 
He also has black eyes, but I gave him a bit of blue eyes. Just a little bit of touch of blue on his foot there too, just for shadow. All right, let's take a look at the real Ulysses. And here we have the real thing. Hello, Ulysses. See the white little feet? And he's got the little belly. He's not very happy right now. But there's Ulysses. Ulysses, see your picture? Oh, goodness. And look at that tail. Thanks for watching.